On the Trail is sponsored by Subaru, working together with the national parks to help them reach zero landfill. Glacier National Park in Montana has a name to live up to, but it's a name that seems to be living on borrowed time, as Connor Knighton discovered on the trail. Like most photographers, Dan Fagri is obsessed with getting the perfect shot. We'll have hiked around 12 miles together, up steep mountain passes, across icy streams, all to photograph a small slice of Montana's Glacier National Park. Visitors take snapshots of the views, but when Fagri looks through his lens, he sees something different. He's trying to take a picture of what isn't there, the tons and tons of ice that have disappeared. Oh my gosh, none of that's there. None of that's there, so look. Fagri is an ecologist with the U.S. Geological Survey. So in 1938 then, the glacier filled this entire basin. Using material from the park's archives, the USGS has been re-photographing old black and white images. Free photography is really interesting. It's a little bit of a detective story. You're trying to find the exact spot that a photographer stood decades before and shoot the exact same picture and then compare the changes between those two time spans. In a short amount of time, the change has been dramatic. So 50 years ago, what would we have been looking at? Well, 50 years ago, we would have been under ice right now. Oh, really? Right here? Oh, right here. We would have been under a lot of ice. The sign says Glacier National Park. But some models have suggested that these Montana mountains will lose most, if not all, of their glaciers by 2030. Soon, there won't be any ice left to photograph. You know, like a lot of people, I really like the glaciers in Glacier Park. And um, while I'll be sad to see them go personally, I think my role as a scientist is to make sure that everybody understands the pace at which they're disappearing and the reasons for that so that, again, better decisions could be made societally. The reason, scientists explain, is climate change. The planet is heating up. Park Service Director John Jarvis has said that climate change is fundamentally the greatest threat to the integrity of our national parks that we've ever experienced. Visiting the parks this year, I've experienced it firsthand. At Kenai Fjords in Alaska, the massive glaciers will survive longer than those in Montana, but they're still shrinking. Walking into the park, there are signs where there was once ice. 1899, 1926, 1961, all the way up to 2005. Markers of where this glacier used to be. All right, let me give you a little shot of what we're looking at. Uh, Last year, President Obama paid a visit to Kenai Fjords to talk about climate change. Uh, that is melting glaciers and blocks of ice that are raising sea levels. In 2016, this glacier has already retreated over 250 feet. That's a new record. Well, the glaciers have been receding. And the surprising thing, the thing that lets us know that this is an indication of climate change is the rate of retreat has increased drastically. At the park, Ranger Fiona North also uses photos to illustrate the before and after. So this one, this is 1992. Oh, wow, so it used to come down, it covered this whole green area. From Alaska to Montana, photos that were originally taken to publicize these natural wonders are now being used to publicize how they're disappearing. It packs a punch that a chart or a graph just can't deliver. I think people are extremely visual. And, you know, the old saying about when painting or photo being worth a thousand words, we get a lot of information visually, and we tend to trust that even more than what we hear. With these photos, the message is clear. The pace of change is anything but glacial.